Welcome to the third e-lecture on Chapter 6 of your Secondary 2 History Syllabus. What aspirations did people have for Singapore after 1945? Before we begin, please ensure that you have with you your textbook, writing materials for taking down notes, and the highlighter so you can highlight key points raised in this lecture. Now, please turn your textbooks to page 96. In this lecture, we will be looking at Chapter 6.3, People's Aspirations from 1959 to 1963. Before we begin on the content proper, here is the glossary of important words and terms for this segment. Socialist refers to a system of governance or condition of society in which all means of production are owned and controlled by the state. A referendum is an event where a direct vote by the people of a country is used to decide on a particular issue. The following points will be examined in this lecture. Proposal for a merger with Malaya. Support for the proposed merger. Opposition to the proposed merger. Contest for the merger. And people's decision on the merger in 1962. Proposal for a merger with Malaya. Within the PAP government, there were discussions on the possibility of pursuing a merger between Singapore and Malaya. The Malayan Prime Minister Tunku Abdul Rahman was initially not keen on a merger. He was worried that if Singapore were to join Malaya, there would be too many Chinese which would upset the racial balance in Malaya. In addition, the Tunku suspected that most of the Chinese in Singapore were sympathetic to the communists and he had not forgotten the tough fight against the communists during the emergency. However, by May 1961, his attitude changed. The main reason for this change in attitude was that the Tunku feared that communist influence in Singapore would grow and that the problem would spill into Malaya if it was not addressed promptly. He thought it would be better if the two governments could join forces to fight the communist threat. The merger that the Tunku hoped for included other British colonies such as Brunei, Sabah and Sarawak. Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew and many of the PAP leaders welcomed the Tunku's proposal and held talks to discuss the terms for Singapore's entry into the Malayan Federation. Support for the proposed merger PAP leaders such as Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew, Dr Go King Sui, Dr Toh Chin Chai and S Rajaratnam believed that merger would help solve some of the problems that Singapore faced in 1959. First, the British colonial government was unwilling to grant Singapore independence as they thought that Singapore was too small to survive on its own. However, it was open to granting independence to Singapore if it became part of the Federation of Malaya together with Sabah and Sarawak. Another problem Singapore faced was that the Malayan government introduced taxes on goods traded between Singapore and Malaya after Malaya became independent, which limited trade between them. Singapore hoped that a common market would be established through the merger. Trade between Malaya and Singapore would increase, which would create more jobs for the people. Opposition to the proposed merger Some PAP members, such as Lim Chin Siong and Fong Sui Swan, however, opposed to the proposed merger. They felt that the terms of the proposed merger would disadvantage Singapore in the Federation. They were concerned that the people in Singapore would not be able to enjoy the same rights as those who stayed in Malaya. They decided to split from the PAP and on 13th August 1961 formed another party 
called the Barisan Socialist or the Socialist Front. This was chaired by Dr. Lee Siu Cho and the Secretary General was Lim Chin Siok. Contest for the merger Both the PAP and the Barisan Socialists sought to win the support of the people for their proposals on the merger. Here is what they did respectively. The PAP's campaign The PAP launched a year-long campaign to convince the people of the need to merge with Malaya. From September to October 1961, Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew gave a series of 12 radio talks in English, Mandarin and Malay to explain the need for merger. The series was known as the Battle for Merger. The PAP also held exhibitions such as the We the Peoples of Malaysia exhibition to explain the benefits of merger to the people. The Barisan Socialists' Campaign As for the Barisan Socialists, it tried to win the people's support for their proposal by giving speeches at mass rallies. Its leaders also accepted an invitation to debate the issues surrounding the merger on radio forums alongside other parties. People's Decision on the Merger in 1962 A referendum was held on 1st September 1962 to find out what type of merger the people wanted. They were given three options on types of merger and the Barisan Socialists urged the people to cast blank votes. However, the votes went the way of the PAP. The Barisan Socialist was further weakened on 2nd February 1963 when the Internal Security Council launched an island-wide arrest of those believed to be under communist influence. This was known as Operation Cold Storm. Key Barisan Socialist leaders and some members of the trade unions, such as Lim Chin Siong and Fong Sui Suan, were arrested. More than 100 people were rounded up and detained. The detainees were accused of trying to sabotage the formation of Malaysia and planning to launch an uprising in Singapore. The Barisan Socialist was to suffer a further defeat in the 21st September 1963 election. In this election, the PAP won 37 out of the 51 seats, while the Barisan Socialists won only 13 seats. On September 16, 1963, Singapore entered the Federation of Malaysia based on a set of mutually agreed terms. Some of these terms were related to citizenship and control over areas of government. First, Singapore could hold elections to choose its own state government. Second, Singapore's state government would have control over education and labour. The central government in Kuala Lumpur would have control over internal security, external affairs and defence. Third, all Singapore citizens would automatically become citizens of the Federation of Malaysia although they could not vote in Malaysian elections. With merger, Singapore was no longer a British colony. Festivities were held throughout the country to celebrate the establishment of the Federation of Malaysia. We have now come to the end of this e-lecture. Thank you for your attention.